All right, bro. Y'all gonna have to strap in your seatbelts on this one, bro. This a lot of smooth brain activity. This two brain cell activity. Some real low vibrational creature activity, dog. She is going in, bro. <laughs> Hey, uh, why are hurricanes normally named after women? Not me. Huh. Because we're the strong ones. Go women power. No, because when they come, they're wet and wild. I'm visionary on that. And yeah. when they go, they take your house yeah. and car. Are no. you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> totally accurate. No, just no. You're an idiot. Hey, man, that shit do be facts. They take your house. <laughs> <laughs> they be cutting up, man. Listen, he ain't lying. That's probably why they do name them after women. I can go suck Kevin, come kiss you, and it has no bounds for me. Oh, oh, oh! I knew I knew you. Damn it to hell, I knew your face was for me to me. That's when you get embarrassed. That's when you get mad to where you want to put your hands on me. I don't care. I been sucking 2019, Christ. ain't shit changing. I man, back in the day, your wife just sucked the meanest. Well, I know you know you're a lucky man. I'm 24 years old. I was 19 when I first met Kevin. Ain't nothing changed. It's gonna be me and Kevin until the end of time. And this is gonna be me and Christopher until the end of time. Because I love oh. you, dog. You're my baby daddy. I want to have more kids with you. But I'm going to suck his as soon as you make me mad. And you know that every time. I married me a whore. Like... You act like when you got to Kevin's house, I was going to get out the car. Why would I get out the car when I get to Kevin's house when I see your friend car behind me? Hey, you have to wait your turn and go through my phone like you do any other time I'm with Kevin. You have to wait your turn and go through my phone and then get mad about it later on. And say, Erica, so you telling me on this day you was with him and you swear, you knew I was with him. Whore. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, go work and fellas? Why are you acting so crazy? Who is Kevin? Kevin is the nigga I've been with since I was 19. That's who Kevin is. Kevin is the nigga I've been with since I was 19 years old, before TikTok, before Snapchat, before anything. Kevin is who I met when I was 19, and I've been cheating on who my baby daddy since I was 19. You need to leave that dope alone. That's who Kevin is. That's who Kevin is. And he know who Kevin is, because that was the first time my baby daddy ever bust my lip before. Oh, you need to stay off that crack, man. Get out. Yes, because he caught me sucking car. Y'all better do your homework on me. Now I remember. I even remember your name. They should call you Jawbone. <laughs> I literally just, I fuck with Kevin so heavy, that's my man. Say, bro, listen, I tell y'all this all the time. Some of these women are unhinged, bro. They got dudes that they are never going to let go. Some of them will tell you this, and most of them won't. But a lot of women got this one dude that literally knocks the stuffing out that Egg McMuffin. He knocks the sonic rings out of that thing, bro. He be hitting the factory reset button. You know what I'm saying? The cuckoo clock. He do it all. He got a soul tie with her. And this is your competition. And the crazy thing about it is this. He ain't got to do half of the shit you got to do. If this is the girl that you ended up with, bro, I feel sorry for a dude who got a woman who is stuck on stupid behind another dude. Oh, Lord and mercy, Jesus. That's some, hey, I'm somebody's child, bro. Like, listen, dog. Hey, and she bagging about it, man. And she bragging about it, dog. No. Mm -mm. That'll never fly with me, partner. Woo! It'll be some slow singing and flower bring around it. <laughs> she said she gonna come back and kiss him in the mouth. Oh, man. Bob, I, hey, yo, I'm going on record for saying this, dog. If, I, if that happened to me and then she told me that happened, I'm catching the charge, man. <laughs> I'm catching a charge, nigga, dude. Hey, put some money on my books. Real talk. You rather go on vacation with the ugly friend or the baddie friend? The baddie friend. You kind of loud. My ugly friend. A baddie friend. What the f? Get some money. Baddie, baddie, shot of clock. The baddie friend. The baddie friend. The baddie friend, because we got to get the necklace, baby. Baddie friend. I'm going with the baddie friend. All she wanted to be was my baby mom. And the baddies got the money. The ugly friends be broke. Huh? I probably go with the ugly friend because they let loose. I'm going with the baddie. Uh, the ugliest friend. The baddie friend. The ugly friend. He said. Why? So all the niggas couldn't be looking at me. Hey man, listen. I don't care if the woman is a seven or a three. She has an objective whenever she becomes friends with somebody. If the woman is really, really pretty and she's a three. 
she's hanging out with her because she wants some of that attention you know what i'm saying that gonna come with hang having a, a a pretty female friend it is what it is dude gonna approach her and then you hoping that he has a friend who will take one for the team or it's the opposite the pretty women be hanging out with the ugly women a lot of times because they want all the attention from the men and they know that most dudes are visual creatures and they only gonna go for the prettiest one if she in a ocean of pretty women then how is she supposed to get singled out you know what i'm saying like it's crazy i don't know why women do that but it's it's just how they rock bro like you ever seen a woman she really cold why are all your friends not cold you the only one that's in the group that's cold the rest of them look like whales man it don't make no sense i mean what else can you logically conclude from that there are signs you're handsome as a man and they probably aren't what you think especially the last one number one people rarely compliment you not quite we're close it sounds backwards but if people think you're handsome they think it goes without saying and men don't compliment other men on their looks they would find that sus and women are usually so focused on their looks and insecurities they aren't thinking about complimenting you i don't even know who this come from oh, sad but true this is huge because the number one reason that people find themselves ugly is they don't get validation but that actually might be a sign that you're handsome number two you've dated or been in a relationship you don't get attention from others in a romantic way if you aren't handsome. If I didn't set it off, we'd be cakes and bakes for the next two months. People have to find you physically attractive to want to be intimate with you. Now, the exception to this rule is if you're super young or you have extreme social anxiety, this point may not apply to you. Number three, some men may not like you for literally no reason. Men that are handsome are going to intimidate other men and cause jealousy. So if a man fronts on you or is super aggressive, that is a sign that you may have attractive qualities that he wants before last one my favorite when babies react positively to you the reason babies are a great indicator is they have less trauma and societal programming so they can see things very clearly so if a baby feels comfortable around you they're smiling they're laughing you're probably handsome follow for more and if you want a part two comment below because i definitely am not done yet hey man can i be honest with y'all and have a heart to heart moment with y'all I always, deep down inside, felt like I was a sex symbol, but this video just basically solidified that notion in my mind. I'm literally a walking, talking sex symbol. Boy, if you don't get... Because I never get compliments. Niggas be hating on me. Babies adore me. And something I'm missing, but I checked that box off too, bro. Like, I am literally michael b jordan at this point that's nobody in the comments gonna convince me otherwise i'm that nigga man stop playing with me i'm somebody child and i'm handsome bitch you is ugly <laughs> oh damn <laughs> real talk god damn it stop playing with me man we will miss her so much and she was so sweet i'm just gonna be real with you man. <laughs> she was never angry she was never mean look here player i'm sorry about your situation she always no. had a nice thing to say. It was bad. Never negative. <laughs> hey, bro, ain't nothing funnier than when you be at the funeral, bro, and they giving a eulogy for the person, and they sit up there telling these bold face lines. Say, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I didn't been to a couple of funerals where the person who was deceased was a knucklehead, man. Everybody knew this nigga wasn't worth a damn, bro. But I've been to the funeral, bro. The pastor up there trying to say the dude was a good. No, he wasn't. Man, this nigga was a demon, man. Nigga finally caught up to that boy, man. It was a, the nigga got a closed casket, bro. Like, nah, partner. I'm not trying to make light of it, but man, they be lying their ass off at these funerals, bro. Like, nah, that dude was not a good person, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but who am I to judge? I ain't nobody, goddammit. An engagement ring has to hurt the man who's buying it. Why? Because it's upfront expense as proof of long-term intention. If you want someone to believe, what's a very good proxy indicator of the fact that someone's going to be an honest player? The idea that they intend to be in the market for a long time. You know, I noticed that, uh... We trust a kebab shop more than we trust a kebab van. The kebab van can poison three people in a town and just move on 20 miles and start again. The kebab shop has actually invested in leases, in equipment, and lots of removable assets he can't afford to poison his customers because the cost of moving is much higher and crazy man the engagement ring is exactly the same thing it essentially says if i were planning a one night stand do you think i would have bought this thing one of the reasons too why jewelry and flowers are very potent presents from men to women is precisely because men aren't interested in them 
So you can buy your wife jewellery or flowers. If there were no women on the planet, there wouldn't be any florists. I apologise. It, it got to stop something. You're right. Or rather, they just sell cactuses and Venus flytraps. You know, bloke plant. Just keep going the money, huh? But if you buy your wife jewellery or flowers, it effectively says, I have made a financial sacrifice to make you happy where there is no suspicion of self-interest. Whereas if you buy your wife a quad bike or a drone for Christmas, there might be the suspicion that you weren't really thinking of her. Say, bro, you know, whenever you was a kid, like not even a kid, just a young man or a young woman, and you're talking to older people, and it's a group of them, and you say some dumb shit, and all they can be like, I hear you, as long as you happy. <laughs> I feel like saying that to this dude because, bro, man, forget that wedding ring, man, nigga. I'm not breaking my bank to buy no damn ring, man, nigga. Got me messed up, nigga. The fact that I'm signing my name on the dotted line. And, and and putting myself in a position to get bent over by the government and the, you know, family court and all that kind of stuff is an admission of my love, straight up, of my commitment. Man, you got me messed up, dog. See, there's people like him that be putting salt in the water, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got these women, heads already big. They gonna run with this, talking about some, yeah, man, he gotta spend it or he don't really mean it. Man, if you don't sit your big cantaloupe built ass down somewhere man that's cold-blooded bro why would you sit up there and say some shit like that what these eyes have seen yeah these nuts is the more money you start to make the harder it's going to be for you to find a partner not yet wait because we as women like to date up usually we want someone who makes the same amount of money as us or more more <laughs> whereas men usually date down they are not hypergamous like we are so a guy who's making the same amount of cash as you or more will usually have no issue dating a starbucks barista if she you, she's super cute and makes him feel like the biggest man on campus you probably are not going to date a starbucks barista let's be real so this can mean that your dating pool is smaller also you're competing with women who are probably younger than you because to get to the point you've gotten to financially takes time i'm gonna take everything on this wall and they're more malleable easily impressed they're more in their feminine energy maybe they're pretty so you have a lot more competition as well so what can you do to separate yourself from the pack a few things first recognize that you're probably operating in your masculine energy and men that you're going for do not want that so you have to lean into your femininity i have a whole course dedicated to this it's linked in my bio check it out second is you have to start investing in your appearance because the more money a man makes the more he's going to prioritize that <laughs> He already has his wealth. He's looking for a feminine asset who looks good on his arm. So spend the money you're making on things like personal training, estheticians, cosmetic procedures, whatever you gotta do. And third, a lot of you don't wanna hear this, but date older. Okay, because there's less competition with the older guys. Follow me for more dating tips and good luck. See, I'm gonna break it down logically for you. Here's the thing. If a woman makes $200,000 a year, it's uh, safe to say that the man she wants to date probably makes way more than $200,000 a year. She wants somebody that she can look up to. And if you make $200,000 a year, even if that man makes $250,000 a year, man, it's that's kind of, you know, close to what you're making, man. So a lot of times what I've heard is women who make that type of money, she want a nigga making half a million or more. But the thing about it is the dude that make that type of money, what does he get from her that he can't get from other women? And usually when the women are making 200,000, either they are older, like past thirties, because now you put in some work in order to make that type of money, right? But the guy that you want to date is, he can get his pick of the litter. Because if you want him, that mean a lot of people want him. Straight like that. And then y'all be in a rush. Y'all be ready to have babies and get married tomorrow when y'all meet that dude. And if he gonna move on your timeline, what does he get from you that he can't pay for from something else. You can't say you're gonna be supportive because man, trust me, if he's making $500,000 a year, he got a support system already, dog. He got his circle. He might even have professional counseling and stuff. I'm telling you, these dudes that's high level like that, they, they go to therapy and shit like that. So the things that you say you're gonna offer him, he don't need you to do that, bro. It's really the most simple and basic things that these men be wanting. But a lot of women who are high value, whatever you wanna call them, they don't want to do that. They want. They don't want to be a, a a mother. They want to push the kids off on a nanny. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Shit, I make two hundred thousand. You make five hundred plus. That's seven hundred combined. Why are we raising our kids? I'm telling you, they're gonna want to put the kids in the most expensive schools. 
it's a tough uh sale that's all i'm gonna say i'm not going for that if i make five hundred thousand dollars a year and i'm a single man with no kids the woman that i want on my arm is probably gonna be youthful uh feminine and two hundred thousand dollar a year women are almost never feminine i'm gonna keep it real with y'all unless they social media influencers that cook and clean and that's how they make their money on uh social media the ones that be loud mouthing and they popping that's not feminine <laughs> nigga don't want that but yeah if, if you want a high value man as a high value woman bro you gonna have to you gonna have to sit on the sideline and put your career to the side for the most part because dudes want an actual woman they don't want a person who thinks that they're his equal this is why I'm telling yeah. these wives when they tell me they're not nurturing, they're not affectionate. I said, so where he's gonna get yeah. it? You mean to tell me none of y'all can read? Where is he what do you, what are you talk? Where is he about to get it? Especially if he doesn't have a mother in his life or he yeah. doesn't have a close relationship. Where is this man getting this affection yeah. if it's not from you? And so how are you abusing that by pulling away your affections? Like, and you think that's okay? That's a punishment sure. to this woman. Like I'm not. Yeah. And my husband i had to tell him a long time ago hey i'm your place of peace not quite but close sure oh. i tell him, my husband come in i'm like hey you want to lay down in my lap and i yeah. rub his back he said i love when you rub my back i said absolutely he's bald you know i i, oh, I do rub I, his head i rub his head <laughs> i Ladies. rub his back i do whatever because i'm trying to be different than anybody in his life i'm like yeah. this man ain't never leaving me because everybody out here ain't operating like this yeah. so they say i want him to be like i'm not gonna if i leave this woman I ain't gonna get my head rubbed I ain't gonna get my back rubbed I ain't gonna, i'm not gonna different. get it man let me tell you yeah. honestly i'm be honest that's utility right there mm -hmm. first of all y'all y'all don't even understand big shout out to ryan because i've been hey man you would think that was common sense but it's really not that common man a woman some women will basically be with a man and not do anything to make him feel like the king of his household and then get mad and want to play victim when he goes elsewhere to find it and life is more complicated than people make it out to be a lot of times and i'm not condoning the behavior but a lot of times a man will be begging pleading for his wife to show him just an inkling of affection and it's been months since he got any and there's a young woman at the job that when he shows up, she treats him like a king. You get what I'm saying? Man, listen, real talk. A man wants to feel loved, honored, and cherished too, yeah. And he should get that, especially given the fact he's providing and protecting and doing everything he's supposed to be doing. Because let's be real, man, social media that made relationships a lot harder than they should be. Your girl is not supposed to see other women that she don't know in real life going on vacations with a B, vacations every other weekend. That sets a, a tone, bro. Oh, that's what they own? Man, why my man can't do that? Now you're comparing him to an unrealistic example, and you're bitter about that. Like, this happens in real life. I'm not making this up or over-exaggerating women see other women's highlight reels because they're never going to show you the real and the raw the uncut they're going to show you the best parts of life and then if she's not experiencing that or she's having a shitty day that makes her have a little disdain towards her man bro like social media then made relationships a lot harder most of us men are very simple creatures real talk most dudes i know follow sports pages pages that make us laugh maybe even a little finance here and there but man if you go to the vast majority of women's followers the women that they're following the people that they're following it's it's all clothing boutiques jewelry and other women who are getting flued out that's that's the whole day they have an unrealistic expectation from men now guys that limit girls because they have kids no it's like Type of but I'm gonna let me tell you like, why. I had to push off. It's like, you know what? Us women with kids, we know how to hustle. We're smart. We get jobs done. You 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 bring a man in the, a relationship where you have a son, are you gonna put him before your son? Oh man, what? absolutely not. There you go. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Now you know why, because we're like, wait a minute, you're gonna put me second. So if there's ever a problem, I'm never gonna be the man of the house. But no, that's different. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've been there. I have actually tried that. When when shit hit the fan, 
You got to understand, though, a woman's I do. Uh, bond with their child is on another level. you damn right. And I don't think a guy would ever understand that feeling. And a man's bond with his son is more than the mom's because no, no, the man can only teach a boy to be a man and a woman can only teach a girl to be a, a woman. Nigga, you make it all the bitches at my job have a reason to sit up there laughing at me. Hey, I'm going to be frank, even though I'm that boy Will. What I'm going to say is this. I could never date a woman with kids for the simple fact that I'm a logical human being. I know no woman is ever going to come before my kids, man. And I hope she feel the same way about her damn kids. No man should come before her kids. With that being said, I can't date no woman who has things in front of me and that those things are not from me. It's okay if the kids come first, but they mine. I want a mother like that for my kids, man. Ride or die for the, for my offspring. Go ahead. Do your big one. But I didn't have fun making the ones that you putting before me. And Lord knows it's a, a coin toss whether or not those kids really going to rock with you. It's a high probability that you're not going to have any real say-so over them, especially if their father is involved. Real talk. I can see a lot of friction going on with that. I'm not putting myself in that position. Straight like that, dog. Real talk. Not going to happen. And guess what? A lot of y'all going to say, well, what if she got older kids? Cool. Then you got to deal with some stuff that I know men are going with right now. You meet a woman, her kids are grown. They doing whatever they do. The kids fall on hard times. First person they call is Mom Dukes. Hey, I need to come back home for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. Now you got a grown man or woman in your house, dog. You know what I'm saying? Who probably don't even respect you because you're not their daddy. <laughs> you might be a cool nigga, but dog, trust me. It never fails, man. Some of these little boys that was only raised by their mama, bro, they got bad habits that's going to irk you as a man, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I be hearing these firsthand testimonies from niggas that I get emails from and shit like that, bro. Y'all got to tread carefully when you're dealing with women with kids. I don't care if they even out the house, dog, because that shit will affect you in some degree. Why do women get upset with the question, what do you bring to the table? Are you poor? I'm sorry? Are you poor? Oh, my poor? Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm asking a question. Like, you want me to be honest? Okay. We gotta be poor to ask that question. Kind of. Explain I, what? Because if you looked at me and you saw me, you knew that you wanted me. You're approaching me with rip. What Probably does sexually. That, mm, I don't think so. But what does that have to do with what I bring to the table? You knew that you saw me and you liked me. First man, I don't see what you're saying. So why yeah. do you need to know what I bring to the I'm, table? I'm, if I see you and I like you, mm -hmm. that's purely physical, correct? I mean, it depends. Oh, what, what it depends? It depends on I'm, the I'm, I'm going off what I'm going off what you look like, Listen, so that's physical. You could have met me in the library with a little librarian sweater on. Now, I don't know you nothing don't know. else about you. <laughs> So because you're in the library, I like. <laughs> I'd like to, uh, if she's bringing something physical to the table, then you know what she brought to the table. The physical. So what you saying? Oh, these ass. That you asked it to the table, did you not? So hey. you invited it to the table. No. It's sad that if you ask a woman what she brings to the table, she says, "Are you poor?" First of all, if you are ultra wealthy man, then you have to bring something phenomenal to the table because. I can pick literally almost any woman I want if I got that type of bread, bro. Some people, some men got, I don't give a damn how he look money. You get what I'm saying? If I got that type of money, you got to bring something to the table that I can't get nowhere else for me to take you serious. It's really that simple. It ain't even about, is he poor? Like if the nigga got money, you going to need to bring more to the table than you would if the man ain't got no money because the stuff that the man who got the money requires is going to be things that require you to be a real woman a feminine woman and most likely you can't provide that to him and that's why the questions triggers them though real talk and they go to the shame and tactics